92-year-old Yoshiko Kajimoto remembers the exact moment an atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. <laughs> As Prime Minister Fumio Kishida hosts the G7 summit in his hometown, he juggles aspirations for nuclear disarmament with security challenges posed by the likes of China, North Korea, and Russia, all of which neighbor Japan and possess about half of the world's nuclear warheads. After decades of progress in reducing nuclear stockpiles, experts are closely watching the renewed threat triggered by the war in Ukraine. The U.S. has brought more assets capable of launching nuclear strikes to the region over the past year and looking to support its forces deployed in Guam, which include bombers. More shows of force could be on their way. Certainly comparing to the past, Yes, uh, the situation's tense, but uh, you know, I have to say it's going to be more tense if uh, we are not going to act now. Professor Akiyama says the key would be to hold conversations with potential adversaries. Without reducing the risk, probably we have to keep on uh, competing each other for our arms races, and uh, I don't think that would be a productive uh, pathway for any country in the world. The international community may be at a historic crossroads, but for the people of Hiroshima, there's only one true path, a world without nuclear weapons. The survivors want the stories to live on. だから